Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this uh, satellite tracking um, demonstration and explanation. I've had a few people ask me um, how I actually track satellites and, and what, you know, in, what was the method I used to know which satellites are actually coming and, and which ones were, you know, soon to pass over my area. I use uh, different tools, so depending on what you have, you'll have, of course, these different tools. Now, um, I use this software for satellite tracking uh, that is part of AmRadio Deluxe Package for a very simple reason. You don't have to do that, honestly. It's really because, in my case, I have, of course, the USB cable plugged into the adapter that actually controls my ICOM receiver, so that's why I use this but honestly if I didn't have that I would not use this tool at all um, what I use to know what satellites are actually coming is first of all Orbitron right here that's what you see on that screen this is one of the it's my favorite satellite tracking software and it's uh, our version 3 Orbitron version 3 it's free and it works well on all versions of Windows uh, if you're on Windows 7 8 or 10 Remember to right-click the executable and in the uh, properties, run it in admin mode. You need to put it in administrator mode or else it won't update the satellite data. So I use that. I check on the right side of the screen here all the amateur satellites. So here, all the amateur satellites that I want to listen to that I know are active, I will actually have a check mark which means that here on the display, every satellite that I checkmarked is visible there. That's why there's a lot of satellites right now. I have NOAA satellites, I have the Orbitron satellites, I have the amateur radio satellites I want to hear. That is one. The other thing that if you have an Android phone or tablet, or I believe even on iPhone, there's an app called Evans Above. So here I got it on my tablet here. That one will give you, uh, if I click radio satellites, the list of all the satellites uh, that are actually coming by time. So you see here, these are all the satellites that will be passing overhead uh, in the next few hours. And it's really, really a great tool to have to check out what's happening. So for example, Cube Bug 2 that you see here is exactly, it's actually LO74 that I've been tracking on this uh, list here. Now, it's not always easy to actually know with the names because some satellites have several names. Uh, and so sometimes it's not easy. Another tool that I use, so this will tell me when satellites are passing over, you can, of course, uh, use Orbitron if you want. Orbitron does have at the bottom over here everything you need to actually predict. So there's a section here called predictor, prediction. If you click there, you will be able to set uh, predict the different passes for a certain amount of time. You can have a text output and print it if you want. So uh, it, it has every tool needed. You don't need really anything else, honestly, when you use this one. And um, of course, for the satellite frequencies, I use one of the best uh, lists out there for amateur satellites, which is the um, list that comes from a um, Japanese amateur operator which is uh, JA9PEL that you see here on the upper. So if you google JE9PEL satellite list you will actually have all of that and you have the satellite list so all the amateur satellites are in there. What's cool is that it has two colors so everything that is in the yellow that means these are active they've been heard. What's white is probably not active or hasn't been heard in a while. So you'll know which ones are active, which ones are not. And it gives you the detail of all the frequencies. The upload frequency, download frequency, the beacon, and what type of transmission you might hear. So it's really, really a nice list. It's pretty cool to uh, have that on uh, at hand when you're actually uh, trying to, uh, of course, track satellites. So that's pretty much what's happening, and that's how I pretty much do my satellite tracking stuff with different tools. Uh, if you have just an Android phone or tablet, well, you can use, uh, of course, the uh, Evans Above app. What's nice with the Evans Above app is when you click a satellite, 
it often will give you information so here it tells you for example the download frequency for 37445 so you can actually tune around and see if you can hear it when it's actually passing overhead so you have some information here but that list from uh, the uh, Japanese amateurs uh, guide is amazing for uh, amateur satellites so that's pretty much the way I do it and of course you might have your own way of doing it uh, and uh, that's how I actually do my tracking so tonight I'll be doing a little bit of tracking we'll see what satellites we can hear and if I have anything interesting of course I'll post it here on the VHF UHF channel if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching